So what are 11 quick tips for getting better at meeting women in bars? I'm dating coach and TED speak Hayley Quinn. I work with men and women equally in the world of dating. So I am gonna be giving you some respectful and modern and empowering yet still sexy advice on how you can make more of those opportunities to approach women who you see when you're out and about in bars. So tip number one is assume nothing. Sometimes you may find that you're holding yourself back from approaching women purely because you see that she is with a friend or with a group of friends and you think there's no point going to say hello to her because she's clearly having a night out with her friends. That can actually stop you from taking action and moving forward to say hello to a woman. Likewise, whilst you don't want to assume negatively in a way that will stop you from approaching her, you also don't want to assume positively, like why else would a woman be at a bar unless she wants to meet me? Instead, try to have a mindset of neutrality and remember what's really important is when you're meeting a woman, it's not so much about you getting everything perfect and right and having the best line and the cleverest thing to say, you also need a woman who is in the right frame of mind and open-minded to meeting you too. Secondly, worry less about what you're gonna say, more about how she sees you behave and act. In a bar, often there's loads of distractions going on. There could be loud music, there's people around you. To say something really clever, actually the idea behind that might be lost. What's probably more important is you speak slowly and clearly. Also that when she sees you before you say hello to her, that your body language is good. You're not holding a drink in front of you at the bar. Your body language is relaxed, you're smiling. If she sees you with your friend, you're not just both standing there scanning the room. Instead, you are actively engaged with one another and looking like you're having fun. So remember your body language, tone of voice and speaking slowly is gonna count more than the words that you actually say. So don't lose the moment and lose the opportunity to say hello to her by overanalyzing what you're gonna say. Instead, focus more on your energy and your body language and your vibe. Tip number three is to watch out for just another guy syndrome. If you approach her and you say something very cliched and cheesy like, so how's your evening going? Or do you come here often? Or can I buy you ladies a drink? What might come up for her is, this is just yet another guy who's saying hello to me and I've got no reason to think he's interesting or special or different. Because of this, you want to be really mindful that you don't present yourself like just another guy out there. So ditch the cliched ways of saying hello. Tip number four is that when you say hello, you also don't want to conceal that the reason that you're coming over to talk to her is because you're attracted to her. Don't go in with a, do I know you from somewhere? line, which she will clearly read as, this guy wants to come and say hello to me. He wasn't sure how to do it. And so now he's kind of making out that I'm a friend of his sister's on Facebook. Don't say something that isn't true and isn't congruent to who you are. Tip five is also don't go too sexy too soon. Remember, we want to see what mood she's in. Is she open to that? Is she receptive? Is she even interested in men? Um, so if you go in and you say, you know, you've got great legs or you've got the best body or whatever that I've seen tonight, again, this is going to likely to bomb with her. Whilst women tend to be really into hearing physical compliments from someone who are like their boyfriend or a man they're really attracted to, from a stranger, this is rarely received well, particularly in the modern era, so I just wouldn't go there. So what do you say to say hello to her? Well, luckily I have put down um, a whole bunch of great, smart, respectful, modern, simple ways to say hello to her. All you need to do is head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash approach. And in there, you're going to receive a few videos, which are going to give you clear examples of what to say in this exact situation. Tip six is if she's rude, let it go. Um, whilst it might feel oh, really horrible for you in that moment, and I certainly don't condone anyone being rude to anyone else, especially in a bar environment, just accept she's not having the best day. She's not open to talking to you. She thinks you're just another guy, whatever. Ultimately, your standard in the women you meet needs to be that they are open and relaxed and friendly and polite. If she's not meeting that standard, you need to let it go. Tip seven is definitely let it go. Sometimes you might feel like you want to win her over or just show her how funny or cool or confident that you are. And so you might keep trying to participate in that interaction when she's really shut you down. 
Now, this can sometimes, when a woman feels like her feedback loop to you of, look, buddy, I'm just not interested in speaking right now. When she feels that's been ignored, then her communication around that feedback loop is gonna get stronger and the situation might escalate. Instead, if you wanna show what a great guy you are and how cool and confident you are, the best thing to do is you can say, you know what, I'm gonna exit stage left. Or you know what, have a great evening, ladies, and just leave it. If you are non affected by her little bit of bad vibes there and you graciously exit, that's the way that you actually win out in those situations. Tip eight is you also don't want to push your point too much by saying comments like, you need to relax more, you need to smile more, you just need to be in the moment. Whenever we phrase stuff up in a way of saying you should or you need, it's essentially telling the other person how they should think or feel about a situation. This is unlikely to be met in a positive way. It's gonna feel quite judgmental. And, it's, and instead of it, you coming across as like charming or cool or confident, instead you're gonna come across as arrogant and it's probably gonna overstep the mark. Um, it's often way more powerful and way more effective to phrase things as, I just really like to be in the present moment. I don't know about you, but I just really like to be in the present moment. I like to go with it. I am a bit spontaneous. Rather than telling her, you should be more, more spontaneous. So remember, keep saying I and forget saying you. Tip 10 is to acknowledge her friends. Classic sort of like early error that I would say when I'm out teaching my uh, men's dating boot camps. If you just focus in on the woman that you're attracted to and you ignore her friends, that is likely to be the end of that interaction purely because her social commitment and who she's really interested in at the beginning of that interaction isn't you, it's her friends who she has an established social relationship with. So remember, in order to win her over, you also need to ingratiate yourself with her group um, even if you've walked right over to her, really make sure you say, so what are you guys celebrating or how do you guys know one another? Um, to bring her friends into the conversation. The final tip is don't talk to her forever. Um, whilst it can be tempting for, as a man or as a woman actually, when you're attracted to someone you meet on a night out to keep hanging out with them. Occasionally this works out. Sometimes though, it's way better to end the interaction on a high get her contact details, and maybe even be open to other people you can meet later that evening. So don't try and hang, hang tough and hang on in there for as long as possible. End the interaction in a good way, make a great impact, get her contact details, and follow up another time. So if you do remember, if you do wanna get those specific, simple, respectful ways you can begin conversations with a woman, head to the link below this video, which is hayleyquinn.com forward slash approach and I've got some free videos for you there. And if you've enjoyed the tips in this video, please like, please share, turn on notifications and all that good stuff. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon.